This is John Malvey from My Bookkeeper Software, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to include a PayPal.me link into your invoices so that your customers can pay you faster. So the first thing you want to be able to do is go to PayPal.me and create your link. So you just go to PayPal.me. There's be a button here that says Create Your Link, and this will lead you through the steps to create a link that will be associated with your PayPal account. So you can set up a PayPal account for free if you don't have one, or if you have one, it'll create this link and associate it with all your bank accounts that you have with PayPal. And in the end, you'll have a URL that you can include into your invoices that when the customer clicks on, they'll be directed to the PayPal.me, and they'll be able to pay either through their PayPal account or with any debit or credit card makes things nice and simple to be able for you to get paid. So once you have that set up and you have your link established, I'm just going to go back to Bookkeeper and I'm just going to touch upon a couple of the setup features that you would need to send invoices electronically. I won't do much detail on there since that will be covered in another video, but just to give you the highlights. From the company on the menu, you go to Manage Current Company Information and you click on the additional tab there'll be an email button and in here you would be able to see the information that you need to have set up in order for you to be able to send invoices electronically so and strongly recommend that once you have this set up you do send a test email to make sure that that's all working properly if you want to set up an invoice template that you can use as a default for all your customers you can do that here it's not necessary and in this example I just have an invoice template that I'm going to use for my particular customer uh, but it just gives you an easy way to kind of instead of having to create one for each customer you can just do it here for, for all of them okay, so once you have that set up and that's working properly I'm going to go into a customer so I have one set up here and if I go to the invoicing tab I'm going to want to say that I want to produce my invoices as a PDF file and I'm going to send them electronically for this example, I'm just going to send the invoices to uh, to my account here at, at Softcon, and you know you should be able to. This would be your customer's email address that you're going to send the email to, and this this would be the body of the invoice where you would include the link. And so I just did some something very simple. Um, just says you know thanks for your business. You can pay me faster by submitting your payments um, through a PayPal account. And here's the link that you're going to get from your PayPal.me. When you set that up, you're going to have this link here. So I had set one up for my bookkeeper software, just as an example. But this would be, you know, your company name or whatever it's, it's going to be. So again, yours will be PayPal.me slash whatever you created there. And there's a couple of new dynamic fields that have been added in the latest versions of bookkeeper. One of them is invoice total formatted and invoice total unformatted. So the difference between the two is one has a dollar sign in the front of it so that it looks nice and the other one is just a numeric value that you want to include on the link. So you want to make sure that the unformatted one is part of the link. If it has a dollar sign in there the link won't work so you want to make sure you use that. When you have that set up click the preview button and it'll give you some uh, it'll give you a preview of what that invoice is going to look like and you can see here this amount is the formatted one and here is the unformatted one and now this link is what is going to be shown on your customers invoice that they'll be able to click on and give you and send you payment and it's important to have this link appear on one line if there is a line break in between, it's not that bad, but what the customer is going to have to do is copy that link and paste it onto, um, onto their browser address bar because it won't be a true hyperlink unless it appears on one line. So during your preview, you're going to want to make sure it's kind of formatted so that it looks all on one line. Or put instructions as you've seen, hey, if, if this isn't uh, a link, please copy and paste to your address bar on your browser and, and go from there. Okay, so once you have that set up and that's all ready to go, I'm just going to create an invoice for that customer. Just going to add a couple of 
items real quick. We'll save that invoice. Go to the invoice print queue. And there it is. We can do print. I say, yep, I want to send it now. Now behind the scenes, it's generating email. It's been created successfully. And now I'm going to tap over to my inbox. And there's the email. And it has the invoice attached. And here's the link to paypal.me. And this is what the customer would see. And if they click on the link, it's going to bring it to paypal.me or whatever account you had set up there. And then when they click the next button, it will lead them through the process of uh, accepting their credit card or, um, or debit card payment. Or if they have a PayPal account, they can pay that way. And that's all there is to it. Um, it's nice and easy. Um, very, you, know, you can embed it very quickly into your customer emails and get paid through your PayPal account. And that's all there is to it. So thanks for watching, and thanks again for being a Bookkeeper customer.